Hi, everyone. Hello, good evening, welcome. Welcome, we're really happy to see you guys. Um, please introduce yourselves and tell us which food can't you stand and why? Hmm. Jess, do you want to start? Hmm. Okay, I'm not a fussy or picky, we can say. Hmm. So in England, we can be a fussy and picky eater, which means that you there is lots of foods that you don't like. But I'm not one of these people. I like a, a lot of food. However, there is one food that I just can't, and it's raw celery. Ah, why? I can't. Celery cooked in food, in a dish, it's fine. But raw people that just munch on raw celery, it makes my minute. Yeah. I have to say, in the past, I didn't like it. Um, I've grown more um, more positive towards it. But I think it's quite strong. Yeah, it's such a strong taste. <laughs> what about you, Emily? Um, okay, so my name is Emily. I'm from Leicester in the oh, UK. Yeah, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably they know as anyway, um, but it's always good to repeat it just in case. Um, a food I can't stand. I don't know if it's a particular food, but in general, I can't stand food which is really salty. Mm. Um, so, for example, when I make pasta, I never add salt um, to the food. Hi, Tiziana from Venice. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, so can you tell us what food can't you stand, Tiziana? Um, mm. So Jess said celery, raw celery. Mm. For me, yeah, generally salty food where they add lots of salt. Mm. Alfonso from Rome, hello. Hello, welcome. And Antonella from Bologna, perfect. Hi, Antonella. Hello. Welcome. Um, so tell us, guys, what food or which food can't you stand? Mm. I can't stand meat. Be careful of the spelling. I think Emily's going to put that in there for you. Mm. So the food that comes from animals is M-E-A-T. Um, the verb, which means to see somebody, <laughs> is to meet. Okay, good. Um, tell us, are you a vegetarian, um, Tiziana, or a vegan? Um, anyone else can tell us which foods can't you stand? That's okay, Tiziana, you don't need to worry. <laughs> ah, Alfonso, I can't stand seafood. Hmm. That's an interesting one. When I was a child, I was the same. But now I'm older, my taste is more mature. I don't know. <laughs> so now I... You changed your, your feeling towards seafood. Mm -hmm. Tiziana, yes, I, I used to not. Good. I used to not be able to eat fish at all. No. I was so, like, emotional as a child. <laughs> and if ever I saw a fish, like people eating fish in restaurants or just the fish, the fresh fish in the market, I would cry. Aww. I would actually cry. Especially when I could see their eyes in. Mm. It, wore, it really, really upset me. Yeah, it's something quite strange when you think about it. Yeah, because um, as a kid I was like, but these, these, and it's really strange, like as a society thing, because I didn't have that with, I don't know, eating pigs or cows or meat that we have on land. I didn't have that probably because it's, I don't know, it's so normal in our society. Yeah. But when it came to fish, I could not understand it. Yeah, I think maybe the fish you can see more of the whole animal. Mm -hmm. um, whereas where usually when you eat like a steak, you can't really see that it's an animal <laughs> yeah it's true so yeah maybe um yeah that. it's really strange when we think about it <laughs> um titiana says thank uh, sorry for the typing errors don't worry titiana um we know it's a very difficult thing to type and think as well and put so everything together hi. good evening hi sole welcome how okay, are can you, you? 
Yes, how are you guys? Um, and can you tell us which food you can't stand and why? Mm -hmm. So Tiziana was meat. Um, Alfonso, seafood. What about Antonella and Sole? What food can you stand? Mm. Is there another type of food, Jess, that you can't stand? I'm trying to think. Mm. Or a drink, maybe. I like all drinks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I can't stand Prosecco. Oh, really? Um, yeah. No. Literally, because if I drink Prosecco, it makes me sick. Um, um, I like faint and fall over. So, no, it's the bubbles. Um, okay. Yeah, I think it's something to do with the bubbles because wine is okay. It's just prosecco. Ah, it's the bubbles. For yeah. me, I love it. I'm like the bubbles go to my head, and I'm like, woohoo, prosecco! <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> good. Uh, we're good. Thank you, Sully. Thank you for the question. Um, what food can't you stand? I can't stand tequila. Nice. <laughs> Can you tell us why, Alfonso? Ah, <laughs> uh, tequila, tequila. I can't. All I also can't stand wine. Wine. Uh -huh. yes. We put the also at the beginning. Um, I also can't stand wine. Again, why? Uh, mm -hmm. Can you give us a reason? Antonella, I can't stand meat. Okay. Can you tell us? Are you vegetarian? Mm. Uh, or vegan, maybe. Yes. Um, oh, I can't stand marzipan. Marzipan. Oh, you might need to explain. Marzipan, marzipan is, <laughs> is uh, the best way I can describe it is through Christmas cakes. So it is the <laughs> the yellow layer that you put under the white icing, and it's mm. made with um, almonds. Mm. Um, yeah, um, so it's like an icing made of almonds. And there's there's many different types of tr like sweets in bakeries that have marzipan. Because they're mm. marzipan -y. And I know, for me, I can't eat them. Yeah, I don't know if it's so popular in Italy. Maybe people can tell us, but definitely in England. Mm. Um, lots of cakes have icing and under the icing, they have the marzipan. I actually disagree. I love marzipan. <laughs> so does my mum. Mm -hmm. And my mum is like religious with making a Christmas cake every year. It's like her pride. She does it months in advance so that all the juice is very flavoured. Wow. And um, the moment, the day I left home was the day that she was very happy because she was finally able to put marzipan <laughs> on her Christmas uh... cake. <laughs> so she celebrated she made a big cake <laughs> and then she will just eat it throughout the year because they last for a very long time mm, they preserve eat well. slices of marzipan christmas cake oh that's good okay we have lots of answers um annalisa i can't stand marmite interesting jess what's your stance on this i love marmite marmite's that thing you either love it or you hate it yeah, I have to agree with Annalisa. I can't stand Marmite. Really? You're another Marmite hater. Yeah. Two different people. <laughs> um, okay, we also have Sole. I can't stand meat. I don't really like it. Tequila and almond milk. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, just be careful. Meat is uncountable. So, yeah, I don't really like it. Mm -hmm. Red meat or blood meat like yeah. Mm. yeah i don't know if we would say blood meat in english blue meat blue meat mm. blue yeah. meat would mean that it's not cooked really it's just yeah. like if you have a steak you can have rare medium rare medium and well done or you can order in, especially in France, your steak blue, which means it's been in for like 30 seconds. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> um, I don't like wine or all alcohol. What is Marmite? Marmite. <laughs> Interesting question. 
Um, who said this? Annalisa, can you explain? Can you write very quickly? What is Marmite? Yeah. Sorry. When I first moved to Italy, um, my mum sent me off. She gave it to me at the airport. It was like my leaving gift. It was a mini, mini little jar of Marmite. Oh. <laughs> I would say it's kind of the British equivalent of Nutella. Um, not for the taste, but because it's such a popular British spread, I guess. Yeah. But Annalise, if you want to describe it for Soleil, that would be great. It is not sweet. It is savoury. Okay, so mm. it's salty. It's very salty. Mm. Yeah, too salty maybe for some people. Mm -hmm. um, I made people. the mistake of giving my old Italian flatmate Marmite and I don't think I've ever regained the respect after really? that. <laughs> they were horrified. <laughs> horrified, yeah. Um, and as I said, when I first, do you want to go, Jess? No, you have it. Uh, when I first tasted Marmite, a present from Australia, it was extremely strong, and I can't even remember the taste, but maybe too salty. Yeah, yeah, it's Excellent. very strong. You'll know once you've eaten Marmite. You will, you'll know. <laughs> I think there is also a similar one called Vegemite. Yeah, Vegemite is also good. I like Vegemite too. It's a kind of similar type of thing. Um, I don't know, how do you eat your Marmite, Jess? When do you? I would have my Marmite on toast or on crumpets. Mm. Crumpets. Can you crumpets explain what that? is a crumpet? <laughs> crumpet, so difficult to explain. It's like, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's difficult to, it's like a round pancake, which yeah. is very tall. Like this, and it's got and it holes has, in it. Like, and when you toast it, the butter melts inside. Uh, I gave all of my Italian friends crumpets, and they did enjoy that. Yeah, so crumpets. Are every good. time I go back to England, I always come back with crumpets for my friend. Mm. Definitely, you should. You guys should try crumpets if you have the opportunity. Is it similar to soy sauce? It's a similar color. Um, yeah, it's similar, but it's, it's thicker. It's mm. got very dense consistency yeah the consistency is like nutella yeah um but it's just not sweet it's salty like soy sauce um yeah so i definitely recommend if you go to england or if you see it in a shop try it um it's a very interesting thing to try <laughs> but um you won't necessarily like it <laughs> thank you very much Nice. What are your paintings of? <laughs> yes, we all know these. I actually went to the exhibition here in Bologna. I got them oh, nice. last year. Excellent. Very amazing. However, I found the exhibition quite overwhelming. It was almost like there was too much artwork to take in in one day. Mm. Like by the end, I was exhausted. It could have really. I could have actually done with seeing less artwork to be able to take yeah. in. Yeah. Well, maybe two days to. Yeah. Or two days. I should have gone back. back. Mm -hmm. excellent okay oh, guys yeah. thank you for telling us about the things that you can't stand um now we're going to look at a more positive side um my favorite recipe mm. in this focus activity delicious dishes talking about cooking talking about recipes using gerund causes excellent. <laughs> tatiana asked what's the ingredient mm -hmm. of marmite Ooh. It's yeast, I believe. The main thing is yeast. Should mm. I have a look? I think you're right. Yeast. So yeast is what makes the bread grow or the cake grow. Um, so yeah, I believe you're right. I think it's yeast. I'm going to send Emily the actual definition for her to put in the comments. Mm. Excellent. Oh, it's a very good definition. Very good. Oh, sorry, the last one is secret. I missed the T of the end. <laughs> okay. So here we have the definition. Jess, do you want to read for us? Yeah. Okay. It's very interesting because it's actually a big secret recipe in the end. <laughs> so they don't want to give you all. It's like one of those grandma's recipes, you know, it's going to go to the grave. The secret recipe. <laughs> the secret recipe. But we've got so much in here. 
We've got mm. the acid-rich yeast extract. The, what does this mean then? Are the lesser qualities quantities of salt? So maybe a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Vegetable extract, spice extracts. No way. And celery. celery. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I don't like celery, but I like Marmite. Mm. See, I like celery when it's in things. But yeah. Alone, I don't like it. Not alone. <laughs> um, yeah, although the price co precise competition is a trade secret. Yeah. yeah. So it's a big secret in England. Yeah, so it's really interesting um, type of food. Shall we talk quickly about the difference between recipe and receipt? <laughs> yeah. So these two often get confused. Um, can you guys tell us what is the difference between recipe and receipt? So maybe let's start with Jess. What's your favorite recipe? <laughs> um, at the moment, uh, it changes always. At the moment, though, I love cooking. I've made. I've. Uh, Ooh, I've started making this very nice pasta sauce. I'm getting very good at my pasta sauces. You should. Yeah, know. me too. Uh, it's going to sleep. <laughs> I feel like maybe my Italian friends would disagree with me, but I have improved. So <laughs> I make this really nice uh, red tomato pasta sauce now with like, mm. aubergine and peppers in. And at the moment, this is my favorite thing to make. Excellent. Yummy. Um, okay, Tiziana, yeah, recipe is the list of ingredients. Alfonso, yes. List of ingredients and the method. Yeah, how we make the, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, receipt is similar to a bill. Um, the difference is the receipt I get after I paid. Mm -hmm. um, the bill I get before <laughs> um, to tell me how much I need to pay. Good job, guys. Well done. Um, and what's and just, your favorite dish? My favorite dish, I have a few. Um, I definitely like carbonara. Mm. Um, I know it's not very healthy, but I love um, when we make carbonara. And also lasagna. I like lasagna or tagliatelle with ragu. Um, so with the meat, <laughs> um, yes, and the, the tomato sauce. Yeah, and to know the recipe is about food. Good job, everyone. Um, Jess, do you want to read Annalise's comment? The first is instruction to cook something. The receipt is a piece of paper you get after payment. Good job, Annalise. Exactly. This Perfect. Is correct. Good. And be careful with pronunciation. So recipe, three syllables. Receipt, two syllables. Um, so we have recipe and receipt. Excellent, guys. Well done. I'm impressed. Everyone knew that. Yeah, good job. Um, Jess, do you want to read the questions for us? Yes. Delicious dishes. What is your favorite dish? Do you prefer to eat out or eat at home? When was the last time you cooked something special? Are you adventurous with your cooking or do you stick to basic and traditional dishes? Nice. Alfonso has given us a question. Please say you love carbonara without cream. Yes, Alfonso. Um, I was really surprised when I came to Italy. I think the carbonara without cream is more delicate. It's a more, you see, you feel the flavor more. Yeah. Um, the cream is very heavy. Mm -hmm. But you are right. In the UK, often we have carbonara with cream. <laughs> we just we we change everything in the UK. We're sorry. We ruin yeah. many of your wonderful dishes. Or pizza with pineapple. <laughs> Though I think that was the Americans that invented that. <laughs> and that was the Americans. Um, okay, guys. So, can you tell us about your favorite dishes, um, and generally how you prefer to eat at home or in the restaurant? Um, Jess, what about you? Hmm. What what do you prefer to eat? I think I prefer to like have a dinner at home with friends, like eating, 
I find eating out quite stressful, especially with people. Yeah. Um, so I like to have a nice cooked, wholesome dinner at home with friends. For me, it's a much nicer experience. However, the occasion that I do go to a restaurant is very special and it's something to be enjoyed. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I think, um, I, especially if you spend a lot of time cooking or if somebody has spent time cooking for you, um, it's a really nice um, part of the relationship. So when my husband cooks for me, it always makes me so happy because he's put in the effort and the time, um, which is maybe different in a restaurant. In a restaurant, you pay for the service. Um, exactly. Yeah, I would agree. It's nice to go to the restaurant sometimes, especially for a birthday or a party, an event. Um, okay. It's, yeah, my favorite dish is pizza. Excellent. Yeah. Very nice. Um, Pineapple on Can you top? tell? <laughs> yeah, what type of pizza? <laughs> my favorite dish is pasta with tomato sauce and sushi. I prefer to eat out because I'm a lazy cooker. Mm. We, because I'm a lazy cook. Mm. Be careful. The cooker is the machine in my kitchen. Um, so I have the cooker is the machine where I have the oven. And on the top, I have the gas stoves. Okay. This is the cooker. We Not can me. also talk about the hob, where mm. the gas comes from, the hob. Yeah, so the oven plus hob or the stove. The stove. Together. Too. Sometimes you have a grill too. Mm -hmm. um, hob or stove is the cooker, is the machine. Everyone likes pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I had pizza last night. <laughs> oh, did you order pizza or did you make pizza? No, me neither of those. I actually, I, I never, ever, ever do this. It's just because of the quarantine. So I bought myself a frozen pizza. Yeah. And I had my first frozen pizza. It was very nice. Yeah. In this moment, it's necessary. <laughs> Uh, good. Okay, I prefer to eat at a restaurant. Good. Um, Antonella. My okay. favorite dish is seafood. We don't need the article there. Or we could say a seafood dish. Um, and I like two. We need that little, we spoke about this before, me and um, mm. Oh, maybe it was me and Kate. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so when it, we have words like I like, I hate, I dislike, we need to eat. I like mm. to eat. I don't like to eat, blah, blah, blah. Um, it at, at home in a special restaurant on the beach. Oh, mm. yeah. That's the best time to eat seafood. Yeah, perfect. I definitely agree. Um, yeah, so as Jess said, we can say I like to eat or I like eating. Um. One of the two. <laughs> okay. It's um, every kind of pizza, but without meat. Okay. Yes. Hmm. I love pasta and pizza. My favorite is Analetti alla Siciliana. Can you describe this pasta? I imagine it's pasta. Alfonso, can you describe what is it like? Yeah. Tiziana, every kind of pizza, but without meat. <laughs> okay. Annalisa, my favorite dish is pizza with aubergines and cherry tomatoes. Me too. I love aubergines. Mm. Uh, pizza is better to be eaten at restaurants if they, as they have the suitable oven to make it perfect. Generally speaking, I prefer being served. Amazing. Really good sentence. Um, good. Paragraph there. Really good. Excellent. Yeah, I agree. Pizza, definitely, in a restaurant. It's difficult to make at home. Yeah. Um, sole is controversial. <laughs> I like pineapple pizza. Wow. I was asked by a friend before I moved to Italy to try and find an Italian who likes pineapple and pizza. I found one before, and now you are my second. second so I'm going Italian. to report back to my friend and say, I have found two Italians who like pineapple and pizza. Nice. Um, I think in England, maybe it's something we serve a lot to children, pineapple pizza, yeah. Hawaii pizza. I remember as a child, 
um, having a lot of this pineapple pizza. I can't. I'm not going to lie. I like it too. Please too. don't hate me. Um, it's not my favorite, but I quite like it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Carbonara, definitely no cream. But pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what about question number three, guys? The last time you cooked something special. Hmm. So... For example, for me, the last time I cooked something special is when I made baked beans. Mm. Um, so you probably know these from an English breakfast. We usually have baked beans. Um, but I've never found them in Italy. So I decided to try and make my own. Mm. Um, it was a really long process because you have to keep the beans in water overnight. You have to cook them for a long time. Um, but it was successful. They yeah. tasted more or less <laughs> like baked beans. The last time I cooked something special was actually not that long ago. I cooked um, my old, my mum makes this special pasta dish for me. Mm. And I've never made it before because my mum would always make it for me as a child. Anyway, she gave me the recipe and I decided that I was going to make this very spe special pasta dish for my Italian friend. And it was an absolute disaster. Oh. <laughs> but Why? I did not make it like my mum makes it. I definitely did the process a little wrong. And it just was not... Um, I don't know, maybe it's like a sin in Italy to do what I did. It was definitely... Yeah. Not I was it not was, impressing anyone that evening, let's say that. Okay, it wasn't a good thing from the start. <laughs> the start. Um, okay, Alfonso, you should try it, says um, Soli. <laughs> nice suggestion. Good. Um, okay, Soli, I think it was for Thanksgiving at school. Nice. Mm, cool. Can, can you remind us, what did you make, Soli? Okay, I don't remember because I haven't time because of my job. Actually, my husband cooks for me. Nice. Just be careful with haven't. I would say I haven't got time. Yeah. Or I don't have time. Yeah, so we need the auxiliary and the verb. So you have two options. I haven't got or I don't have. Okay. Nice. I have to agree with Tiziana. My husband cooks a lot, so I'm lucky. Wow. Every weekend I cook something special, very often handmade pasta. Wow. Delicious. I bought wow. yam and marshmallows. Very American. I remember seeing it. Yes, I tried it. it was was it good? Very exciting. Um, yeah, it's really strange for British people. Um, <laughs> But I remember it was really good looking. I didn't try any, I think, in the end. But it looked very good. So our next question. Are you adventurous with your cooking? Or do you stick to basic and traditional dishes? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, what about you? Um, what do I do? I I know I'm, I'm not very adventurous, I have to admit. Um, hmm. I don't trust myself. Probably because I, I always have an accident in the kitchen. For example, last week I sliced the top of my thumb off and it was like a bloodbath in my kitchen. No. So I'm trying to avoid doing too many adventurous things because I'm probably going to harm myself. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> um, generally, I would agree with you. I'm quite um, unadventurous. But I think since meeting my husband, I've become more adventurous because he really loves cooking. No. Um, so I kind of, I help him. We cook together. Um, That's nice. Yeah. And I've maybe cooked some different things because of him. Um, definitely. Um, yeah. So hopefully next time, maybe, hopefully this year, if we have a um, Thanksgiving party, if somebody cooks this, I will try it. Okay, Alfonso, I'm definitely traditional. Good. 
Also, Tiziana. I'm not adventurous. I prefer traditional dishes. Mm -hmm. I like to get different things from different countries. Nice. Good. Remember the plural countries. And then we have, I'm not adventurous with cooking. I prefer to make something from scratch, like a catcher. Very cool. Yeah. Really nice sentence as well, from scratch. Yeah, to make something from scratch. Good. From zero. So completely homemade. From scratch. Excellent. Um, if you guys want to continue answering the questions, please do. Um, but we're going to move on to look at some vocabulary. Okay. Um, Jess, do you want to read the column with the words for us? Sure. So we have knead, beat, stir, dice, chop, steam, blanch, and poach. Hmm. So we have chop into tiny pieces, whip with a quick motion, cut into pieces, gently mix in a circular motion, use hand pressure to massage, cook with hot steam from boiling water, to cook in simmering liquid, sometimes in a pouch, and to plunge into boiling water. Okay, so let's start with knead, the first one. Can anyone tell us what does it mean to knead? Knead, which letter does it add up to? Mm. Knead. Remember that the K is silent. The pronunciation is need. Need. Okay, Tiziana has chop, very good. Need, Sole is saying E. Need hand pressure to massage. Mm, perfect. Good job, well done. What kind of things do we need, Jess? Kind of we need dough, for example, if you're making a pizza. You would need the dough or some bread mm -hmm. um, yeah. or a pastry for a pie, maybe. Yeah, maybe? yeah. I think anything like that bread, um, dough. dough. Yeah, good. What about the second one? Beet. Beet. Mm. Sounds quite violent. Violent to beat. <laughs> so it's something a little bit, it's quite vigorous, I guess. Mm -hmm. it's, I remember always having to beat the, oh, I don't want to say it because it will give it away. But whenever I used to bake with my mom, I always have to beat something. Beat something. <laughs> yeah, there's, it's, this thing that we often beat, usually, we make a cake. Can anyone tell us what is? Maybe if we give them examples, so beat the eggs, okay. Beat the eggs, yeah. So beat the eggs. Hmm. It's strange because it could also mean to, to win. Like um, this yeah. team beat the other one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, these guys are saying be perfect. Good, well done. Yeah, to whip with a quick motion. Um, that yeah, I think when you want to make the eggs very airy and fluffy. <laughs> okay, the next one, to stir. Um, might stir the tea. Stir the tea. Or the coffee, <laughs> or the hot chocolate. Mm. Oh, hot chocolate. <gasps> I'm adding that to my shopping list. Yeah. I would really like some hot chocolate. Definitely. It's I've very shopping. Like, yeah, in this period, staying at home in front of the TV. Three. 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 Yeah, <laughs> perfect. And Elisa, good. And Soli, too, good. Good yeah, mix. Yeah, so beat is I mix very quickly. And stir, I gently mix. Okay. Dice. Hmm. I will give you an example. I nearly diced my thumb off the other day. 
Yeah. Maybe we should talk to them about the meaning of a dice. Yeah. Um, so dice is when you play a game, you have a little square, a little cube with different points on. So one, two, three, you throw the dice. And if you have a particular number, usually you move your piece. Okay. Hey, cut into pieces. Hmm, have a look because there's another one that that goes for. Yeah, We've got two very similar. Dice and chop. Good, Tatiana. To chop into tiny pieces is to dice. Yeah, so dice is where, when they're really small. Um, when my husband makes ragu, he dices the carrots into really small pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he does that. I don't have the patience. <laughs> no, me either. Um, whereas chop is more general. Okay, steam. Can you guys tell us? The steam. Mm -hmm. My mum always steams her vegetables. Hmm. Very healthy. <laughs> We've started to steam our vegetables to make a pasta sauce. So we steam the tomatoes, um, steam whatever vegetables you want, and then we mix them together, we blend them, and create a pasta sauce. <laughs> That's such a nice way to do it, actually. I've never thought about doing it that way. Yeah, we bought a steamer and we got a little bit crazy. We just started steaming everything. So. <laughs> It's much yeah. It's very healthy because it keeps all the um, like vitamins and nutrients inside the vegetables. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, very healthy. <laughs> I love that. It's easy. F. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah. So to steam mm -hmm. is cook with hot steam from boiling water. Good job. Yes. Um, Solo says dice is called like that because it's tiny. Yeah. Yes. It's really small. Good. Blanche, French word. <laughs> blanche. What does it mean? We have two options to blanche and to poach. This is actually a word that I learned recently because I've never really blanched anything before. No, I'm trying to think about it. I can just kind of hear my mum saying it in the kitchen, but I can't remember for what. Hmm. Hmm. Blanch H. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so to plunge is like I put it in the boiling water, but not for a long time. I don't boil it. It's just for a few seconds, a few minutes. Um, yeah, just to give it some color, usually. Um, yeah, so to blanch and to poach. To poach. See, Italians do not poach their eggs. Mm. I have not found a good poached egg yet. Poached eggs are the best, but they're very difficult to do well. I it's was very hard. A disaster. <laughs> Me too. It always goes terribly. Um, just something to say, guys. Simmering is almost boiling. Um, so it's like in the middle. Um, so when you poach, the water is not so hot. It's not boiling. It's just simmering. Um, I think in Italy they say something like eggs in shirts. I think that's how they say "wovin camicia." If I don't, eggs if I'm shirts. Right. Yeah, eggs in shirts. That. I think they say that for poached eggs. Um, <laughs> maybe if you guys want to confirm if that's true or not, yeah, let us know. <laughs> I've definitely heard it somewhere before. Eggs in shirts. <laughs> Very strange. <Makes> <laughs> Okay, guys, um, let's move on to some examples. Okay, um, Jess, do you want to read for us? We have delicious dishes. Okay, I admit it, I have a serious sweet tooth. Baking is not one of my favorite activities, but having dessert definitely is. My latest favorite is dessert style pancakes with fresh whipped cream, Having grown up in a house where desserts were neglected at best, I can say I truly appreciate it when a dinner 
invitation comes with a scrumptious taste of heaven. Mm, very nice. Okay, they've confirmed. Yeah, they say X in shirts. Oh. <laughs> um, good. Yeah, so this is a poached egg, guys, in English. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we should look at some vocabulary here. Yeah. Um, so having a sweet tooth is when you love sweet food. Um, so for example, I love marzipan, I love icing, um, I love chocolate, I have a sweet tooth. Jess, do you have a sweet tooth? I do have a sweet tooth, but it goes in waves. Sometimes mm -hmm. I find that my sweet tooth is so strong and I just, all I crave is sugar and sweet things. But at the moment, I'm not in a sweet tooth period. Mm -hmm. I think it's because I've been resisting the urge to buy myself snacks. Because if I have snacks in, I'm going to eat all of them. Yeah. So I've been very good at resisting to buy a nice little treats and snacks and little mm, chocolates and things. Yeah. So I've actually kind of gotten over my sweet tooth sensation. Okay. Yeah, I think the more you eat, maybe the more you want. <laughs> the more you eat, the more you want. It's addictive. Definitely. Sugar is addictive. <laughs> Um, yes, you want to explain whipped cream? Ah, oh, yes, whipped cream. It's cream that has literally been whipped. Remember the word we had before? To beat, like beat mm. the eggs. It's the same with the cream. You're going to whip it up, and so it's all nice and it's more throth. It's more frothy. Frothy. <laughs> frothy. Frothy. Oh, it's another word I can't say in English. I, yeah. I realize there are many words I can't say in my own language. Thro it's quite difficult to say. Throthy. Throthy. <laughs> we all practice that together because clearly I also need some help. Throthy. There we go. Throthy. Um, so, yeah, we're just really airy. Lots of air. Um, so, they says, does savory tooth exist? No. No, it doesn't. There Only the savory. Yeah, no equivalent. Um, okay, the last one, scrumptious, um, ah. is delicious. Scrumptious. Truly scrumptious. You're truly, truly scrumptious. Do you know what if I'm guys, saying? If you guys want to practice this word, um, if you Google or if you go onto YouTube and search truly scrumptious, scrumptious. it's a song from a musical from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, I think. Such a great classic. Yeah. So if you want to practice your English tonight, you want to listen to a song, truly scrumptious. You, truly scrumptious. <laughs> or just watch the whole movie because it's a great movie. Yeah. So the movie is Chitty Chitty. I love you, bang, 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 I love you. <laughs> oh, it's great. That's Definitely. Your homework this evening is to go and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. We should have a focus on that next time. Wow, like a focus on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. There's so much in there. It's musical focuses. <laughs> um, okay, guys, let's have a look at the gerund clause. Okay. So the first one, baking is not one of my favorite activities. Uh, okay, you solely knows the song. Good. <laughs> okay. Why do we use the gerund for baking here? Why, why, do don't, we, why don't we say to bake? Why do we use the gerund in this situation? We also have having. Baking is not one of my favorite activities, but having dessert definitely is. Yes. What about you? Is baking one of your favorite activities? No, it definitely isn't. I'm mm. not patient enough. I have a problem with patience, I think. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. terrible at baking too. I burn everything. Wow, me too. It's because I, I, get, I get bored, so I turn the temperature up and then I burn it. Yeah, it's not cooked in the middle, but it's cooked outside. Tiziana, yeah, because it's considered the noun. It's a subject. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because um, yeah, it isn't the verb. 
in this situation. So it's exactly the same when you say, I like baking. Uh, yeah, baking becomes the noun. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Also the same for the second one, having grown up. Okay. Again, this, this noun here is having grown up. Did you grow up in a house that allowed you to eat nice treats? Um, maybe when I was quite young, because um, I was born in the 1980s and I grew up in the 1990s. And um, sweets were really popular, especially from grandparents, mm. from my parents. Then I think people became a little bit more conscious mm -hmm. of health and of not giving children too much sugar. So things kind of changed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's true because I was born in the 90s and mm -hmm. my mum was like the sugar police. And I didn't have any biscuits in my home growing up, nothing. And I used to go to my best friend's house. She lived opposite me. And her mum would always give me a little jar full of biscuits. <laughs> so I could oh. get my sugar. Sugar rush. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I think it changed a lot. Yeah, it definitely changed. The, the, the awareness to it. Yeah, perfect. Sadly, um, everyone, we are running out of time. So if you have any final questions, now is the time to say. Okay, so they feels for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm, okay. I'm strong. I got through. And now I live alone. I can do what I want. <laughs> and if you don't have any questions, if you want to answer this one, do you have a sweet tooth or do you prefer savory food? Um, and in the meantime, we will recap some of the things that we talked about. Um, Jess, do you want to explain a fussy or a picky eater? Yeah, so this is someone who is um, particular about what they like to eat. There will be many foods that they don't like to eat. Yeah, definitely. Um, maybe also marzipan. Yeah. It's a type of icing that is made from almonds. Um, yes, it's nice. really popular in Sicily. I remember in Sicily we bought fruit, marzipan fruit. Um, yeah, which was delicious. But Jess doesn't like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. Jess, do you want to explain blue meat? Blue meat is nearly raw meat. It's... Um, the stage, if we have the scale, well done, medium, medium rare, rare, and then we'd have blue meat. So it's very quick. Yeah, almost not cooked. Almost not cooked. <laughs> so I prefer savory food, good. Uh, be careful there is a U, savory. Mm. Uh, Antonella, all my life, <laughs> good. I would say all my life I have. I have liked, I have had a sweet tea. I've had a sweet tea, yeah. yeah. So we say to have a sweet tea. Yeah. And present continuous because it started in the past. At uh, present perfect, sorry, because it started in the past and is continuing in the present. Good. Um, one more comment, let's see. Oh, no, that was me. <laughs> I uh, wait. No, I prefer savory food. I can't eat sweet food when I'm hungry. I don't know why, but it makes me crazy. Mm. <laughs> All the sugar, it goes straight to your head. You know, for me, breakfast is when I find it difficult to eat sweet food. In mm. Italy, it's really popular to yeah. eat sweet food. Yeah, I'm the same. But in England, we don't really eat sweet food. Um, it's really strange for us. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Wow, okay. everybody. If you have any questions, you can head over to our My S S O S Facebook page mm -hmm. where there is our grammar guru who will be happy to answer any of your questions. But there we go, My S S O S. We hope that you have a really wonderful evening. Enjoy your dinners. I hope you make something delicious. Mm -hmm. Remember this movie chitty chitty bang bang uh, it's really fun it will help you forget that we're in quarantine 
So we recommend it. <laughs> we recommend. Okay, guys, have a lovely evening. Thank you very much for joining us and keeping us company. Bye. Bye.